What's up, YouTube? This your boy DJ Kid Supreme. Um, I wanted to bust out a tutorial on Virtual DJ 7. Um, there's a couple tutorials out there, but I just want to do one that's more in depth, do it in sections, break everything down so everybody understands what it is. For those who don't know, Virtual DJ is a DJ and software for a typical DJ. If you want to try it, try it, you know, whatever. Um, you can get a free copy of it or a free demo version of it at virtualdj.com. I'll go ahead and put the website in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Uh, for those who have it, this will be a brush up on the new stuff on 7 or anything you might want to learn about or figure out, okay? Um, basically, I'm going to break it down. There are several different types of virtual DJ. I'm going to go through those right now. For you guys to see, um, there's the home version. That's the free version. That's the one you can get on the website. It's nothing crazy, nothing crazy to do. All you do is download it, get you some music, play it, bam, you're good to go. This is for, for you folks that want to try it out, see what it's like, see how the software works. You know, nothing crazy. We have to spend a whole lot of money. It's free. You try it out. You can go on, okay? Then you got the broadcaster, okay? Broadcaster for those guys that want to start DJing on the web. Those guys that hear about the radio station and stuff like that, you can broadcast on the web. The guys that have blogs, uh, guys who got podcasts, stuff like that. This will help you get your sound out there if that's what you're into, okay? Um next thing is the pro basic pro basic is basically all the pro stuff the guys that i i like the software i want to get into it more i want to spend a little bit more money into it i want to make it work um this is we connect all your external mixers if you have that uh more sound cards time coding stuff like that controllers video output basic all the stuff you want to do if you're going to start your own business or these are for people you know for some folks of yours um the full version which i use um has everything from time coding uh to use an external mixers virtual uh virtual vinyl virtual cds um broadcasting for full screen with videos um searching stuff i mean searching online for videos stuff like that uh ripping videos it comes with extra software to rip videos um dvds i'm sorry uh play multiple tracks karaoke and all that good stuff okay um, but let's get back to the software itself. Software interface is pretty much like this when you first get it. It's real easy. It's real simple. It's pretty much self-explanatory. But for those who don't know, um, there are exactly five zones or interfaces that you will use m most likely. Um, this section right here is your browser sampler effects record your your browsing section this is where all your information is going to be at all the stuff is search for your particular songs uh you know the facts samples all that stuff how you're going to record it and do everything else um over here um is your deck one uh deck one i'm gonna put it together deck one and deck well deck one's here deck two are pretty much the same identical to each other they are where you have your effects your samples to pick from where you can set your loops we'll get into loops later on uh, your virtual turntable here um, your cue your pause your play your sync pitch control keys all that stuff's on this side um, also you have your own little wave file here we can see how far you're along progressing in a song which is a lot different than uh, hope a lot better for me if you're a visual user uh, for the old school DJs that used to use vinyl and had to know their songs, you can actually see where the song breaks down, see where the beginning begins, see where it's getting ready to end. Um, it's got the time, it's got where the pitch is, it's got hot cue, BPM, stuff like that. And when you load a song, you get the name of the song up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys so you can go ahead and see that. I'm using an external hard drive, so um, you guys got to excuse me. Um, like, here you go, some Biggie Tim Crack Commandments. Bam, now you see it right there, it's got the WAV file up there, it's got the name, song, artist, the BPMs, pitch range, everything. Then notice down here, when I was looking for it, it's got a search. Um, moving along, we're going to go to our center panel, center panel, sorry guys. Um, our center panel is basically our mixer for those DJs that already know how to DJ. Um, it has your gains, your high, your low, your EQ, your filters. Um, your cue, so you can set your cue to hear your headset, uh, your volume faders, um, your channels A and B or one, one and two, whatever you're used to, um, your cue, master, pitch, gain, all that good stuff. And then there's a, 
another spot on here where you can toggle to your videos for those guys that are starting to use videos which I'll do in another tutorial how to do the video mixing um, this is what comes out on your screen this is what plays on deck A um, this is what plays on deck B um, transitions that switching between them what does you know what effect does it use when it switches between them um, effects um, moving on to the next tab we got scratch scratch is pretty much for those guys that's going to be using that time coding uh, those guys that have turntables they want to hook up to them because they still want to keep that old school feel where they like to touch the vinyl they like to feel the scratching you know um, this also could be used for you guys that are visual users like myself I like to see where my track begins see where it ends it gets super close um, you can see where you want to set your cues you can adjust it you can notice there's a little hand on here you can move it up and down um, there also on here still your gain okay for you guys the gain that's for pretty much your volume um, our last section is your rhythm window um, your rhythm window it's pretty much your wave file. Wave file is pretty much what this is. Um, one for deck A is blue. For deck B is going to be red. I'm going to go ahead and throw throw one in there. Um, let's go ahead and throw this one in there. Okay. Notice how it turned red. Notice it's got all the information on it. Same thing. Um, notice how there's bars. Okay. There's different things you can do with this. You can zoom in further, which it's at. You can make it smaller. You can make it even smaller for that, you know. But I prefer to like this way. This way I can see what's going on. I can see where my beat breaks down. I can see where it's starting to cut. Um, like I said, it's still you got it up here and you have it down here. Um, if you guys look down here, there's a couple notches. That's your beats. We'll get into that in the next tutorial. Um, your configurations. Configurations consist of your settings. That means everything from your sound setup, your skins, maps mappers, I'm sorry, your controllers, video, outputs, internet, iPhones, iPads, codecs, uh, performance, browsers, info, okay. Pretty much the sound setup is for you professional guys that have uh, sound cards or multiple outputs on your computer, laptops, whatever it may be. Uh, sound cards, set everything you want to, apply, we'll get into that in a later video. Scans, scans can, are pretty much the different types of ways virtual DJ can look and react depending on how you want to use it like right now I just switched it now I have four decks I'm used to that type of scan I can use that um, it's got two there's three this virtual DJ can do up to seven okay there's different type of scans but if you want to get them download them at virtualdj.com okay uh, mappers are pretty much what you use for your controllers such as those new high-tech controllers you guys see out there like the new marks the uh, you know techniques the pioneers all those guys all those controllers that you can hook up to here okay uh, your video this is where you put all your stuff for your video outputs and hook up to additional windows monitors uh, whatever your t whatever your PC or Mac I'm sorry PC or Mac can broadcast it this is where you do it this broadcast your videos that's gonna be another tutorial and I'll show you how to do that options Everything from how you want the crossfader to work, the pitch, the EQs, the jog wheel, sensitivity, scrolling, uh, updates, pitch, auto pitching, going into the beat lock, auto gain, reset. Um, this is pretty much everything to help you set it the way you want to set it. Your internet, this is just a free part you get with it. Um, you log in, you get access to groups and stuff like that, and people tell you what songs to suggest, so forth. Uh, iPods and iPads for you guys that got them you can hook these up and it'll scroll through your stuff and you can use it use it as a remote user um, if you got Wi-Fi and all the other good stuff codecs this is pretty much where all different types of music are played and went through you can we'll talk more about the codecs performance it's based off how your PC works or your Mac works um, we can get more into that you know more of the settings and another tutorial what they do why they do it um, browsers, how this part down here that we saw, how it reacts, what it shows you, and what it and what can it do, what do you need it to do. Um, last part is the info. It tells you what version you got, who is registered to, and what else you know where to download stuff, how to factory reset it, and so forth and so on. Um, basically, this is just an over overview tutorial. What so on Virtual DJ 7 what you accomplish what it can do um, hopefully you guys look out for my next tutorial I'm going to go through the basics of 